the moment they go to the Jordan, that is the location. They're excited. The Bible says, and they started cutting the wood. Hold it, hold it, hold, hold it for me. They started cutting the wood. Ajay, ajay. And whilst they were cutting, they were singing, a radia boy, you, a radia boy, you, that unfortunately the axe fell into the water. Oh, While they were excited cutting the wood, the Bible says, and the axe fell into the water. And the problem is that they say, man of God, for it was even borrowed. What will you do when what you borrowed has left your hands? Jesus. It is not for you anymore. Number two, you need to cough it out to the person. This is what I call the unexpected disaster. When you, when you were coming to Accra, you didn't know that some battles were going to show up. And all of a sudden, some unexpected. When you got the money and you bought the land, you were excited. You didn't know that along the line, your business will collapse. When you rented that place for the two years, you were so excited, didn't know towards the end of the two years where your money is coming from will be locked. It is called, hear me, it is called the unexpected. Nobody plans for disaster in life. When Donald Trump woke up in the morning and he says, I'm going all the way to Pennsylvania, he didn't know that the Thomas Cook will have the bullets to kill him. It's called the unexpected disaster. What will you do when you get to the place of the unexpected? But any time the unexpected shows up, that is the time the supernatural also shows up. Yes, Lord. Because the supernatural is designed to break and stop the issues of the unexpected.